A new Inside Infinite blog update has just released for us guys, giving us details about the battle pass system, customization, progression, and fracture events, and it gives us a hint of the importance of the planet reach within Halo Infinite. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So the Halo Waypoint blog update for Inside Infinite has just been released for us guys and we're going to go over all the details that you're going to want to know about within this update because it's quite wordy and quite long. I'm going to give you the TLDR of everything you need to know. So if you like these kind of news and informational videos and want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we wrap up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. So let's go over the season experience that we're going to have for Halo Infinite and the battle pass that's going to be coming along with each season. They stated that roughly every three months we're going to kick off a new season. This comes with a ton of updates, new gameplay content, new events, new systems, and new customization, new progression, just a whole ton of new stuff. Oftentimes with the seasonal cadence, that's kind of the main time when bug fixes happen, but they stay here specifically that that's not going to be the only time bug fixes will happen within Halo Infinite. As they state that obviously if anything immediately needs to be fixed, they have the opportunity to do that. That's what the Slift Space engine is kind of designed for, but also overall, just like overarching bugs, they have the ability to prioritize what can be fixed within a season. Now I'm sure you've all seen this Yo Roy armor set. This is part of an event within season one of Halo Infinite. These events are actually called Fractures, which actually does a really great job of talking about the types of customization that we'll see within the battle pass and these Fractures. Saying that there will be special event type with specific thematic rewards called a Fracture. The battle pass and other main vectors will supply canon customization. The Fracture and some events will at times lean into things further afield, like the Yo Roy armor set shown in the multiplayer trailer. So that's really important to know that the battle passes that we'll be receiving every three months with these new seasons will stick with more canon based armor sets, which is super great to hear because that's one thing with these free to play games that a lot of times like they'll launch kind of like, you know, within like universe kind of style of art and things like that. But as we progress throughout the seasons and the years, even that things will kind of get a little more wacky, a little more weird to try to incentivize people to buy things. Like right now in Call of Duty, there's like a freaking dragon fire breathing blueprint you can actually get through the battle pass and there's like some anime pink obnoxious looking at customization as well but it sounds like with the fractures that's where you might find these singular kind of more really interesting types of customization that don't exactly fit within obviously the canon of halo but it seems like the battle pass will stick with a more canonized more true to the lore and experience of Halo so to avoid any kind of absurd customization just really breaking the immersion of the experience of playing Halo. This next section goes really well into the type of battle pass we'll be seeing. It seems like we'll have a two track style battle pass saying that there's a free battle pass track and the paid battle pass track and as I stated previously they don't want the battle pass experience to be a grind again is what they mentioned here for players to where you're like where you're playing the game where you're just trying to complete the battle pass it might even feel a bit like a chore these battle passes will be permanent the state here specifically this means that the season one battle pass will be around forever again it does seem like you'll have to purchase battle passes for the previous battle passes as it says for here you can always go back and purchase any prior battle pass as well so this is really important to know that free to play players can also still go through the process of playing halo infinite grind through a battle pass to earn some in-game content but the people who buy into a battle pass might be receiving some more premium stuff or maybe a fast track way to get through the whole thing i know destiny 2 does a two track two tier kind of system with the free to play players and the people who buy into the battle pass or the seasonal passes i believe is what they call it with a lot of times with the paid versions having more like xp gains having more kind of additional kind of things but for both battle passes having ability to earn like the, the key content that you want to unlock within the whole thing is still available to everybody now the rest of this blog update goes into specifically how halo waypoint plays into the experience of playing halo infinite as you see we'll have the console version as well this kind of represents the mobile version and also on the pc version as well within the app it seems like you will be able to do things like customize your spartan right here so you have the ability to like change out the helmet trade out the shoulders trade out the armor core even if you'd like and also select what kind of helmet you would like to have in there so you have options of a armor appearance and profile you also will be able to keep track of your seasonal progress your challenge progress as well as your battle pass progress here as well and they 
showed that with the Halo Waypoint companion app, you will be able to kind of hop around between the games and manage your characters, either be a customization or check out stats or things like that. So it's not just about Halo Infinite. It also will involve all the other Halo titles out there. As you can see, for example, here is showcase of someone jumping into what MCC would look like on the new Halo Waypoint website. And also on the app, you can keep track of your ranks, your stats, and all the stuff, you know, your normal gamer stuff you want to keep track of. Again, just another look at the customization that we will see within Halo Infinite. You have an option for your coating, your helmet, your visor, your chest piece modifications, stroller pieces, gloves, and various other accessories that you'd want to have for your Spartan. And right here, we actually have some information on what the first season of Halo Infinite is going to look like, stating that the journey begins with the launch of Halo Infinite's first multiplayer season, which we're calling Heroes of Reach. Customizing your character, making your Spartan look and sound exactly the way you want is a huge part of the journey. And tracking all your good stuff, it all can be done within Halo Waypoint. But Joseph Satan also kind of teases at something that's tied into the planet of Reach and how it works into possibly the events of Halo Infinite. Saying that I can share that we picked Heroes of Reach as a seasonal theme for a very specific reason. Reach has a rich history. It takes a key location for Spartans of old and a focal point for new generations of Spartans preparing to wrestle with the perils and mysteries of a galaxy that has fundamentally changed after the events of Halo 5. I feel like this calls back to the book Shadows of Reach, which I did read through as well. And spoiler alert, at the end of the video, they pick up some kind of AI that was lost within Halsey's office that was left out on Reach. This could possibly tie into the creation of the weapon which is like the new cortana model that we have so seeing like reach customization and reach armor cores that are gonna be part of halo infinite at least in season one is gonna be much more than just like some cool customization it might actually tie in to the story of halo infinite now this next part i have two interesting things i want to point out for you guys one of them is kind of fun one of them actually might showcase how the ranking system is going to work within ranked multiplayer for halo infinite now forgive me for this, this is a little bit of tin hat kind of conspiracy theories kind of thinking, but we saw the return of Halo 5's ranking system within the images showcased within here. This is an image of various badges that you can earn while being on Halo Waypoint. Kind of cool little things, but the interesting thing I want to point out here is one is the art style. You can see it's a much more kind of like darker, rich, almost not necessarily gritty, but new kind of serious tone to a lot of these badges that you can earn on the website but take a look at this one here in the middle right does this blue diamond shape look a little familiar because this is the exact same shape that we had in halo 5's ranking system or diamond rank. Now, why would Halo Infinite be a soft reboot of the franchise, but yet still kind of a sequel of Halo 5, but reuse this ranking system icon that we had from Halo 5? Because we still really don't know if they're gonna use the one through 50 traditional system or the newer system that they created in Halo 5. But this is my tin hat kind of theory. If they're gonna reuse this asset from Halo 5, maybe it's part of the ranking system to kind of integrate with the experience of Halo Waypoint. Because they specifically mentioned many times that they want to make sure that your experience on Halo Infinite and on Halo Waypoint is unified. They even had the transmedia team work together with the development team for the website and the game to make sure that there was a bit of a synergy that happens between these two. Obviously, this could just be a callback to Halo 5's ranking system and actually could not be in the game at all, but this is just kind of my tin hat conspiracy theory construction that's happening right here. In this last part, just talking about something kind of fun, they actually mentioned a YouTube creator within the post, not me, but our friend Mint Blitz over across the pond in Australia, talking about the experiences you can have within the campaign, saying, and all the fun Mint Blitz style shenanigans that makes every day at work feel like watching Halo 3 compilation videos back in 2007. So yeah, a little bit light on the content and stuff in there, but we got some more details when it comes to the battle pass system, customization, progression, and how the Waypoint app will interact with Halo Infinite. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you're new to the channel or missed any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right here. Got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.